Hi Anna back again, right, um, as you can see the gas box is now sealed up and we have the gas point for the flexi pipe to attach the gas bottle, we're waiting for that to arrive, I've got the pipe but the regulator I bought was different for the gas bottle that I've got, I've got one, that's the regulator need the screw on one, I just put the clipped on with the lever on which is for 11.5 kilo bottles and bigger, so I've spaced that off of there, it's gone through the top panel and again that's been sicker flexed all the way around, same here sicker flex there, just seal this gas box up all the way around and as you can see the gas pipe comes up through here, it bends around this corner here, there's a P clip there and there's your gas valve to turn on and off from inside the van and there's going to be a pipe which comes out of there, runs along and then goes up into the hob which is there. Hi again and it's another day back on the traffic. I feel like I'm saying that nearly every day. Anyway, let's get on with it. Right, so recap on the kitchen. Right, so we're literally here now. Um, Worktops on, We've got the shelf on above the water. We've got the shelf on uh, for the gas cupboard and the back of the gas cupboard. And if you look just under there, you can see the gas pipe and it goes as far as there where we have the shuttle valve. Um, now I need to um, get a piece of copper pipe and run it from the sh uh, shut off valve to the back there where the fitting is on the actual hob. So yeah, but first things first, I'm going to be putting on the orange gas hose in the gas cupboard with the regulator, the new regulator, because that's now arrived. So let's get around the other side. Let's put the hose on and the uh, regulator. Right, yeah, I know I've cut my head off. I am here. Right, so this. Is the regulator we want. Just to be sure, I'm going to run back around the other side of the van, check it fits. Oh my god, I just panicked. Right, so there it is. I'm screwing away. So I'm screwing away with this, like that. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, the old idea, old old saying. So I right side to right side to and it's doing nothing. So then I remembered I took the actual cap off, which to tighten these up, you they go anti-clockwise. So it's not lefty-loosey, it's lefty-tighty on this one. So yes, it does fit, thank God for that. I just panicked, I thought, oh my God, don't tell me I'm gonna have to buy another one. Right, so that's that one. And this is the kit that I got originally. And in this kit, let me show you so you know the difference. It's got that on the side. So what you do is you put your that part on top of the bottle and then turn that to lock it. So yeah. That will probably get used on another project at a later date. But for now, I'll throw that in the box. All we're interested in is the orange hose. Right, now I am fully aware with these orange hoses, they do have a shelf life. And they are dated. I don't know exactly what the shelf life, life is of these, but let me show you. If you look on there, you can see that the date is 2021. 
So it, I think it lasts for so many years. Right, so I need to cut a piece of this off because this hose is way too long. Let's cut that without cutting my fingers. I can be a bit of an accident when it happens sometimes. Right, so somebody's just Googled it for me. And these hoses have a shelf life of five years. Hence why that's 2021. So when it comes to 2026, so we've got this van, you need to change the hose or at least bring it back to me for changing it or get somebody to change it. So if you've got some of this in your van, let's say you bought it second hand off someone, which I know people do, check the year on it because if it's past five years if you add five years onto the date of your hose and it goes and it runs out in 2020 change the damn thing think of your safety one cup of very hot water we put that in there for the moment give that a few seconds to soften up Right, let's try and push that on there. Oh, still not going. Might have to do another trick and use the old fairy liquid. Let me go and get some of that. Good, a bit of old Tesco's fairy liquid. Well, it's not fairy liquid, it's washing up liquid. So it's not expensive stuff, it's only cheapy stuff. Let's put a bit of that around there. Lube it up, as they say. Right, so it's been in the hot water as well. So fingers crossed. Look at that. Come on, get on there. And I'm putting the Jubilee clip. Don't over tighten these when you put these on, but make sure they're nipped up enough and that doesn't leak. So what I need to do now is push the regulator on that end. But before I do that, I need to put the hose clip on there as well. So there's the hose clip. And the regulator. Right, so same again. I'm going to put this in the hot water for a moment. And get some washing up liquid. And wipe it around the regulator. Right, so now I'll push that on there. Right, so the regulator is fully on there. All we've got to do is put the Jubilee clip on, tighten that on. Right, 
So there you go. One regulator and hose ready for the bottle to go in. Once we've obviously hooked up all the gas connections to the hob, we will be testing it. Now the best way to test it is get yourself similar sort of bottles we used with the wind and tin tin on the other bus, a bottle full of water with a bit of washing up liquid in and spray all your joints including there every single joint where there's a join or could be a gas leak spray it um, let the system pressurize and if you've got any bubbles you've got a leak that's how I test them right on to the next phase which is the gas pipe over the back So there you go. Right, I need to put a bend in the end of that so we can get it up to the hob. Right, so using these, bent the angle that I need to be able to attach that to the um, hob. Right, I know it's not gonna be very easy for you to see, but uh, we'll try and get as much of this in as possible. Right, so, I've got to get the copper pipe from there to this bit where the valve is. So what I'm going to do, now I've got the right angle up there, so I slot that in the hole and now I can measure a mark at this end up here. I don't know if you can see that, I need to mark there where to cut that off put into the shutoff valve. Quite is a tight space in here. do to make my life a little bit easier is I'm going to move the sink forward Now to put the sink back after let it all collapse. After everything collapsing on me. Now I've got to attach that pipe to that fitting. Do you know when you're unsure about a joint? I'm unsure about that one. 
very unsure about it actually. Anyway, that's all plumbed in and up together and I suppose I'm going to switch it on and plug it all in. And see if it works. The painful bit, especially if it isn't all sealed up properly and it is leaking. Right, let's go around to the bottle and connect the bottle. Special color spanner. Right, I'm going to tighten this up. It's hard to film, hold, and tighten at the same time. So now for the interesting bit is it going to leak? Right, let's switch it on. Ooh, can't hear anything there. We have a bottle of soapy water. Right, so let's spray the bottle first. Spray that joint. No bubbles. That's good. Spray these joints. bubbles there so now it's going to be the valve so let's put it under there so you can see it doing well there as well. Right, the one I'm dreading the most. Well, we've got no leaks there either. I suppose there's only one thing left to do really. Let's see if the hop works. So we have no leaks. We're a fully functioning gas system. All I've got to do is secure the worktop now. Once I've secured the worktop, I'm going to give the gas system another spray over with some soapy water, just to double check, treble check. So now we've done that, I'm going to secure the worktop and work on to and work on the water side. I should be back to you in a little while. So we are functioning and we're getting there. Right, okay, so, as you can see, the water pipe is now connected. So is the waste pipe. All the gas is hooked up. All I've got to do now is drop the waste into that, take the lid off, and then it's down to wiring that lot up. But that's at a much later date. We've got lots more to do on this kitchen before we start wiring things in. Hi everybody, welcome back to Built and Bought Campers and the Renault Traffic. I just want to show you where we are with this now. As you can see, I've put this shelf up here. Now, I would have done the full build on that, but to be honest with you, it was a real ball lake. Um, trying to put that up 
wasn't that easy. So this is all fixed in now. This is fixed up and also my trunk in which I built in the corner there. And that houses the wiring that goes over the roof and down the back. And it would be fed under the bed. So yeah, so I haven't done a lot on this lately apart from that and what you've seen in this video. Um, I was going to do a bit more today, but it's quite miserable and blusty and a bit rainy out here. I do hope you've enjoyed this video, like every others. Please do me the favour, give me a thumbs up if you like it, a thumbs down if you don't. And if it is a thumbs down, please leave a comment below, let me know what you didn't like about it. Is there something that's missing or something I could have done better? Do you know what, feedback, all feedback's good feedback, that's what I say. As long as it's constructive criticism. If it's criticism, if it's good, let me know. Please subscribe, please subscribe. There's so many people watching my videos and I can't believe the amount of people watching my videos, but so many of you are not subscribers. Please subscribe. Ding that notification bell so you see when the new videos come up. And I really, really, really want your opinion on my videos, what you think. Um, I've been away recently, so there's a video coming out on that soon. And we had a nice little visitor dropping out the sky, yeah. If you want to know what all that's about, please watch my next video. Anyway, that's it for me now. I hope you're staying safe, hope you're staying well, and most of all, staying so very happy in these crazy times. Bye for now.